So in this video, I'll give you a quick run through of how um, Vent works and for purchase orders. Now we're going to be using the new Vent. New Vent PO Vent has just done a new PO, so I'm using that to demonstrate this video for you. So now one of the differences between the old uh, PO and the new PO is the layout. You can see in this layout, you have the option to select the supplier on the face of the um, PO. So let's say the supplier's name is, um, let's see, is, um, say warehouse. And we want to deliver, you must, we are selecting the outlet we want to deliver to. Now it is optional to put the invoice number. Uh, it's also optional to put the delivery date. Um, you rather you create um, allow them to create the PO number for you, or you want to enter your PO number if it, in the case where you have your own manual process of following PO number. Now, one of the beauty of this one now is that is that you choose the product, or you can import via CSV. Um, via CSV is for if you have large amount of products you want to import. But in this case, let's just um, buy a product to pick milk now we have the quantity um in the inventory at the moment and the quantity we want to we want to buy so let's assume we're buying 10 and the supply price is um say 200 now click on save now the supply price will by default if you have imputed a supply price in vent to show you the supply price of that product um based on that you can actually send the order to the um client that you want to send the order to Send now, really, I will have shown you how to um, where you don't need to send the other way, you can just um, receive it. Now, now, if the order has now been delivered, so let's say what was delivered was just six out of the 10 items you supplied that you, you requested for. Um, if you click on the receive tab. Then we now take it to the receive point. At this point, it's showing you um, the order number, where it's been, where, where you ordered the supply, you ordered it from, um, where it's supposed to be delivered to, and the product. Now, if there are a lot of product, you can actually receive product, can set to receive each product. But because we are receiving just one product, we have the option to put, say we are receiving just six out of the ten. Please note, bend automatically uses the supply price on the PO. The supply price on the PO. It's important you know that. The supply price on the PO to calculate the total for this PO because as it is, you are supposed to pay for what you have um, received. So once you click receive, um, Ben will go up and show you this tab. Do you want to, um, Mark all products. You have not marked all products as received. Do you want to create a new partial order for the items you are missing or close this order? Now, if you say close this order, then will not create another PO for the for the four outstanding. Um, but if you say create new order, then will now create another PO for the ones that are outstanding. In this case, I just want to okay, let me create a new PO so that you see it. So that first PO is completed. And this PO is now outstanding to be supplied. 